Hi, it's Captain Mike here with you again. Uh, and today we're going to do a video on removal or an attempt to remove uh, boron nitride from texture molds. Uh, we'll also try to remove it from a uh, slump mold that I have. And in this video, we'll see how that all works. But we have these four tiles. And we're going to see, you know, if we can remove the boron nitride from them and recoat them with something else. So let's go over to the sink and we'll start removing some um, boron nitride. Okay. Well, we're over here at my sink and um, this is a sink in my workshop. It's a little dirty, but y'all have to get over that. Uh, this is the mold here that we are going to, this texture mold, we're going to clean the ZYP off of, uh, the boron nitride, excuse me. Um, and I start by using some mean green or any cleaner you have, and I will follow it with some, uh, I just use liquid detergent, it doesn't matter. Uh, to, so far it hasn't mattered. I just I dilute it so it'll spray better out of the gun, but I don't think it matters. In an old toothbrush. Uh, so what I do is I'll spray this thing liberally with uh, the 409 cleaner. Now, this is a tile. It's going to absorb a lot of, of the cleaner the first couple of times. So I just start. This will probably be the long, boring part of this video, but it's important. If it's going to work, it works once, and I have no doubt that it will work twice. We are now concerned with the longevity of the new treatment over the boron nitride. Uh, does it indeed work on a molecular level and can it be removed so completely that it will not inhibit the glass separator from adhering permanently as advertised to your ceramic mold. So I did I'll do it a couple of times. I'll wash it off so I can see where I am. Also to hydrate this thing so it will the mold so it will do it. We'll put a little bit more uh, this on it. You can't put it up. Take your time. Make sure you get around the edges too because I, I spray uh, all of my molds with when I use the boron nitride. I, I try to get anywhere the glass might would lap because <laughs> with me it will lap. I will, it will slide on its own. It has a mind of its own. And sometimes it just oozes where it's not supposed to ooze. So that's the first application of, uh, eh, not application, excuse me. That's, we've we've uh, sprayed that applied, uh, a, a strength, a heavy strength cleaner, in this case, mean green. And then we will spray some diluted. and just continue to scrub. All in all, I would do this six to eight times. And the fact is I may cut some of this out so that you won't have to, because you see what I'm doing? Toothbrush, all the little crevices. If we are dealing with texture mold, that's what this is about, is a texture mold. Although you may want to remove it from a uh, something else. You know, on the shelf, maybe uh, slump mold, drape mold. Let me do it one more time here. I don't want to cheap out on this because I'm going to use this mold once I recover it, and I will. I will do that. I will retreat it with. Uh, Unique glass separator 
and see how it does. Now my advice to you, if you're going to attempt to duplicate this experiment, is do something with a mold that's wore out that you don't mind if it messes up, okay? Because it might mess up, and I don't want to be blamed for it. Uh, you know, everything I do is reinventing the wheel. We're going to put 409 on it one more time. And, you know, I might well even let this sit for a little bit. We're not going to do that because of time on this video. I might well just let this thing sit just in case uh, the uh, industrial cleaner might would help, for lack of a better word, percolate the boron nitride out of any pores that weren't reached with scrubbing. This, that's just an assumption and speculation. I don't have a clue what I am doing. I just uh, come up with these ideas. I do all the research I can to see if anybody's going to back me up. And I go for it. The company that makes at least the glass separator they are very adamant about the fact that if there is anything left on this ceramic when you put their product on, that it will lift. That it, I mean, or it'll do something. It, it, it will just, it'll malfunction. It won't work as advertised. So, you know, we're learning, I'm learning, they're learning. They don't approve this method yet. I'm hoping that I can prove to them that it will work and they will approve it. And when they do, I will come back with a video and uh, hopefully, you know, have their approval and can say so. Right now, hey, this is just me and you. I'm experimenting. I don't have uh, a clue whether it's going to be permanent. I know it's going to be temporary because I've already fired it once. I can touch this thing and I can feel it, that there's nothing, there's nothing left on its surface. So if we've got it microscopically, then we've got it good to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this outside in the sun. I'm going to let it dry and it will be ready for recoating with glass separator and we will find out if uh, in the long run if this really works. Okay, y'all appreciate y'all watching this part. Uh, this may be the end of the video, I may add some to it, but uh, as it is, we're going to put this thing outside to uh, dry. This is the second tile uh, that I prepped and sprayed with the uh, glass separator and I've got to point this out to you all uh, because this is probably what the people, the technicians at, Gla at Unique Glass were talking about and others when they say that you cannot coat this or you cannot get this, the boron nitride off. I don't know whether you can see it or not but around the center portion of this is what the paint industry calls orange peel. Now, I'm sure that the boron nitride residue caused this on this particular tile. I'm going to rewash it and try again. The reason I'm going to try again is this tile here was the original tile and it was sprayed with boron nitride and it's perfect and it cast glass perfect. So, just wanted to point that out. This video is not through yet uh, by any means, uh, but I want to get the comparisons of the products down. Well, not so much the comparisons, that's incorrect. This video is about uh, removing boron nitride and spraying it with something else, in this case, glass separator. But I hope you guys can see that. I don't know how uh, close my camera will focus on that but hopefully you can see the orange peel there and that's not acceptable that shows me that this this glass printer is probably going to come loose in a firing so let's wash it try again okay I don't know exactly what is up with this tile right here this is the one that has the orange peel on it I sprayed it again it orange peeled and I took a brush and I scrubbed real hard and all the stuff come off. Now, 
I have not checked with Unique Colors yet to see if this stuff is permanent until it's fired to glass temperatures. These two have been fired to 800 degrees and they're perfect. I mean, I washed them the same way that I washed this one and this one, which this one has been fired and it was successful. Now, I'm gonna recoat this one. And regardless of whether it orange peels or not, I'm gonna fire it to 800 degrees and then I'm going to put pieces of glass on all of these and I'm going to see what happens because we need to wrap this up uh, and make a conclusion as to whether we can or we cannot remove boron nitride. It, tentatively, I'm say we can out of mm, four pieces, five pieces, this piece right here had boron nitride on it and fact is it let me down right here I mean you know it looked perfect I sprayed it color you know with the color in the boron nitride and everything and it stuck right there for no reason having some more problems of texture molds that we'll discuss later but I went ahead and cleaned this this mold here first non-texture mold I had cleaned and I uh, sprayed it, cooked it to 800 degrees and I'm fixing to put it in the kiln with a piece of glass on it but it's just as, as neat there's no orange peel, there's nothing this is the only piece with orange peel on it I'm thinking it's got nothing to do with the boron nitride and if these are successful then I can say you can remove it, but until that time, let's go ahead and finish this particular part of the experiment up, and then I'll, I'll kind of stick my neck out a little bit. But until then, let's just wait and see. Okay, we've got um, the um, tiles out of the kiln in another piece. Um, just real briefly, everything came out fine. Uh, all of these tiles originally had uh, boron nitride on them, as did this piece. And I fired them a little hot, and I did that on purpose. I wanted to make sure that if heat was going to cause a problem, that it would cause it. And that's why you'll see on some of these tiles there's a little creep. Just a little, nothing much. Nothing under braider won't take off. But they work great. This is the this is the, the trouble piece, the, the piece that I worried about. I recoated it and it's fine. I mean it made a beautiful uh tree mold, tree of life mold. And I use 90, 96, and float glass. And quarter inch float glass. The uh, forest lady came out absolutely wonderful. No residue on the back like you get with boron nitride. Uh, the little uh, forest man, whatever you want to call him, worked out great. As did my uh, uh, piece of uh, float glass. Worked out great. This, fire, this one has had multiple firings. That's not the first one that I fired, so so far it works great. And I haven't even used the free product on these yet. This is just nothing but remove the boron nitride uh, using the system I described and coating them with a glass separator and firing them. This is a quarter inch piece of... Uh, float glass and it worked absolutely wonderful I can get it out without breaking it I mean it just it's come out just great uh, and this was a problematic piece I had an issue right here when I had boron nitride on it where glass stuck and it stuck on the first coating 
mean, I fired one of these and I recoded it, brushed it off, recoded it, fired again, it stuck. No reason for that to happen, but it did. Uh, so I scrubbed it uh, as I showed uh, you earlier, coated it with uh, glass release, and fired it. Perfect. Perfect. So only time will tell. Uh, you may you may have a, a little different results than I did. I advise you to test test on something that you don't really care a whole lot about um, to see if you can get the boron nitride off and recoat with uh, whatever kind of a a glass separator that you wish. I, there's a couple of them on the market. I've only used the unique. Colors glass separator. I'm pleased with it. Uh, uh, I'm fixing to do a video on applying that particular product with an airbrush and uh, some other interesting facts about it. Hopefully I'll get to that pretty soon. But we're going to wrap this up. I'm going to call it that it, I'm going to call it workable. Uh, please, if you have issues, uh, let me know. In the comments say hey Mike it didn't work for me uh, just <laughs> please don't tell me you screwed up a $50 mold or a $30 mold try it on something that if it doesn't work if you've already put boron nitride on it and you try to get that particular uh, product off and you fail tell me I need to know because so far I have removed it from uh, five or six or seven different uh, items I'm fixing to remove it from all of these. In fact, I'm going to remove it from all of my molds. But here's a stack. Real quick, then we'll be through. I don't care what you do. This this just started sticking. One coat of boron nitride, and it sticks. Tore those up. This one has broke the last two dragonflies I've done. No matter how bad, well I clean it up, and I really clean them. I get the glass out. I use the Dremel. I use whatever I need, and I recoat. So all this stuff is going to be fixed. It's going to be it's going to be redone. Uh, I uh, hope that I can fix these dragonfly molds. If I can't, I will either make me some or I'll buy some more. So that's it. That's where we're going. That's where I'm going. Please let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, you won't hurt my feelings. We'll all be adult about it. And we'll discuss this. And hopefully it will be something that we can work out and uh, change some ideas about removing boron nitride from mold, be it texture or be it slump or drape molds. Okay, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm Captain Mike, and I am out of here.